Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is August 5th, 2019. And I want to share with you about a prophecy that Jesus gave in Matthew 24, 2, when he said, Truly I say to you, not one stone here will be left upon another which will not be torn down. When Jesus spoke, these words he was referring to the destruction of the temple he was looking at the temple he told the disciples to look at the temple and then he said truly i say to you not one stone here will be left upon another which will not be torn down and this prophecy was fulfilled in part in the year 70 a.d with the destruction of the temple, which occurred on the 9th of Av in 70 AD, the same day that the first temple was destroyed in 586 BC by the Babylonians. But I say that this prophecy was fulfilled in part because not Everything surrounding the temple and connected to the temple was destroyed. The western wall, which was a retaining wall around and connected to the temple, was not destroyed. The western wall, the wall of prayer, the wall of lamentations that Israel uh, uses and remains to this day, was not destroyed. So when Jesus uh, gave this prophecy, truly I say to you, not one stone here will be left upon another which will not be torn down. That prophecy has not been fully fulfilled yet. And so we have a future fulfillment of this prophecy that may be connected to the partial fulfillment that took place in the year 70 AD on the 9th of Av. Now I want to share with you a story of, a, uh, of something that happened one year ago, the day after the 9th of Av in Israel. And it's connected to, it's uh, related to the Western Wall. This article came out last uh, year on July 25th, and it refers to something that happened on July 23rd, which was the day after the 9th of Av. The article reads, uh, the Western Wall spit out a stone, and some see a message from above. The heavy stone that fell out of the western wall and came crashing down on a platform set aside for egalitarian prayer has been removed for examination and restoration. But the, conservation, the conversation about the reason for its sudden skydive, including hints of divine intervention, keeps on going. The stone fell on Monday morning. Hours after the area had been full of worshippers visiting the wall for Tisha B'Av, 25 hours of intense mourning for the destruction of the two holy temples in Jerusalem. The western wall was an, ex was an external retaining wall for the second temple, which was raised by the Romans in 70 CE. A lone worshipper was praying at the site known as the Ezrat Yisrael near Robinson's arch at the southern end of the wall when the stone fell. Daniela Goldberg, 79, was not injured, though she was shaken up a bit, and she seemed to be dressed in the garb of an Orthodox worshiper. Every strand of her hair covered, long sleeves, a long skirt, and stockings in the summer heat. She said she prays regularly at the site, set at 
a remove from the iconic plaza that fronts the wall and told Israeli television that she would try not to let the incident distract her from her, ch from her prayers. Israeli archaeologist Zaki Devira almost immediately said the 2,000-year-old wall was badly in need of restoration and that its massive limestone blocks had to be reinforced. But some saw theology, not erosion, at play in the near disaster. Rabbi Shemuel Ra Rabinovich, the rabbi of the Western Wall, called for public soul searching in the wake of an incident he saw as unusual and most rare. The fact that this powerful incident happened a day after the 9th of Av fast in which we mourn the destruction of our temples, raises questions which the human soul is too small to contain and requires soul-searching, he said. Rabinovich did not point fingers, unlike the deputy mayor of Jerusalem, Dov Kalmanovich. At first, Kalmanovich said, we must not explain and interpret natural phenomena as signs from heaven, as the ways of the Creator are hidden. Then he did a 180, blaming the activists who want women and non-Orthodox Jews to be able to pray as they wish at the Orthodox-controlled wall. The falling of one of the Western Wall stones, so close to Tisha B'Av, and exactly at the location of the controversial prayer area, should be a red light for us, for us all. I suggest that reform leaders, women of the wall, and the other quarrel mongers examine themselves and not the wall. Let's read that portion again. I suggest that reform leaders, women of the wall, and other quarrel mongers examine themselves and not the wall. In other words, it is time for us to search ourselves that we are uh, the temple, and we need to uh, be in right standing with God. It's not about a wall. It's about our own hearts. We need to examine ourselves. On Tisha B'Av, God revealed a deep love of Reformed Jews. He wrote in a blog post, With a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, God held back a stone from falling from the southern western wall onto all liberal Jews worshiping below. The stone was indeed destined to fall, as it did on Monday, but God held the stone back until no one would be hurt. Solovi noted that had the stone fallen on Saturday night, when hundreds of worshipers and visitors were standing near the part of the wall, the results could have been catastrophic. So Jesus told us in Matthew 24, 2, that not one stone here will be left upon another which will not be torn down. As I said, this prophecy was fulfilled in part, but there is another remaining portion of the temple in the area surrounding the temple that includes the western wall that has not been torn down yet. So there is a future fulfillment of this prophecy. And last year on Tisha B'Av, or the day after Tisha B'Av, as a sign of Tisha B'Av, as a sign and a, a memory marker of the temples that were destroyed on Tisha B'Av, a stone came out of the Western Wall. So my question is, was this a sign from God marking a future destruction that will come on Tisha B'Av? A stone falling out of the wall. Remember the prophecy of Jesus. Every stone here will be torn down. When will it be torn down? When was the temple taken down? On the 9th of Av. And there's another future fulfillment of this prophecy that will happen at some point, and right now we are days away from T 
Tisha B'Av, and here is this hole in the wall as a reminder that on Tisha B'Av, the temples came down. On Tisha B'Av, a stone fell out of the wall. This was just one year ago in 2018. As I am doing this uh, video, we are just over four days and 18 hours. It might be four days and uh, 14 hours or 13 hours now that I've, I took this screenshot a few hours ago. So I have a, a time a clock countdown to the beginning of Tisha B'Av at sunset on Saturday. So the beginning of Tisha B'Av, sunset Saturday, August 10th, in Israel, is less than five days away. About four and a half days away right now. So I think that this is a another sign from God that we need to be ready. We need to take into serious consideration all the words, all the prophecies, all the teachings, all the counsel that the Lord Jesus Christ has left for us in his word. We need to take it very, very seriously. We need to live according to his word. He said if there is a man who listens to the word and and does the word is like a man who build his house on the rock. When the storms come and the winds blow and the rains pour down, his house will not be moved because he not only was a hearer of the word, but he was a doer of the word. And Jesus compared the man who hears the words of the gospel but does not do them to a man that builds his house upon the sand and that when the rains come and the winds blow and the storms come in his house will come crashing down Jesus spoke very very clearly we need to take Jesus at his word this prophecy of the stones being teared down, taken down, was fulfilled in part, but there is another Tisha B'Av to come. I believe that it is connected based on the signs that we have received, based on the temples being destroyed on that day, that the future fulfillment of every stone being taken down will be connected to Tisha B'Av. And right now we are four days away. And I pray everybody would be ready. Read the Gospels. Believe the Gospels. Believe the words of Jesus Christ. And you shall be saved. I pray you're blessed tonight. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed.